Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about how to import a photo sequence into Premiere Pro CC. Now if you're watching this tutorial you're probably having the same issue I am where you cannot import a photo sequence. The little checkbox is grayed out. Now to um, kind of demonstrate this issue we're going to double click right down here to import some media and I have a photo sequence from a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera and you can see right here we have uh, all the frames from the video because on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera every frame of raw video is a single picture within a folder with this being the audio. So if you go to import this photo sequence what you normally do is you would select it and then you check image sequence but it will not light up and uh, I've read all around and there's no comments on this anywhere but if you highlight everything like this and try and drag it in it will import each one as a separate photo and it's just a giant mess so that doesn't fix the issue whatsoever so here is literally all you have to do click on the first photo in that list the very first one and that'll be this guy right here 01 I mean 000 it starts at 0 and then it goes 01 that's their their file structure start at the beginning and literally select that first one and only that first one just that first one even though this is not checked on click open it'll automatically detect and import this is a photo structure as a uh, PSD sequence or not a PSD sequence sorry is a DNG sequence because this is DNG files raw DNG and it'll automatically import that in as a photo sequence so you can see I port that in I scrub through here and uh, everything is uh, going quite nicely and uh, this is raw video so you can see it's very flat we can uh, color correct it and do all that stuff and it's very nice but uh, we have that imported in and uh, that's going great right there so um, there's me so uh, yeah there we go yeah, the, that's the uh, process thank you guys for watching I hope you found this helpful if you like this tutorial leave a thumbs up if you didn't like this tutorial leave a thumbs down and uh, if you have anything else you'd like to say leave it in the comments below always appreciate any type of feedback at all. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial.